Hello everyone and welcome back to another Signals and Systems video. Today's video topic is Bode magnitude plots. So let's get started. First of all, what is a Bode plot? Well, Bode developed a method for sketching the frequency response of a linear time invariant system um, given its system function, or given uh, H of s. So the Bode magnitude plot that we're going to look at today is actually a straight line approximation of 20 log 10 of the frequency response magnitude. So 20 log 10 of the magnitude of h of j omega. And so the idea is that we start with some system function h of s, for instance 10 over s plus 1, and Bode provides us with a simple way of sketching 20 log 10 absolute value of h of j omega from that. And what we get is a plot that looks something like this curve over here, where we have straight line asymptotes, so that what we can see here for this particular system is that we're constant at 20 dB, and then uh, up until frequency omega equal 1, and then we drop off at a rate of minus 20 dB per decade. So we're going to really talk about how we get from here to here. That's the topic of today's video. So in class, we actually covered some basic points of Bode plots, so I'm not going to re-derive all that here. What I'm going to do is just remind you of um, the Bode plot um, for various uh, functions of h of s. So if h of s is just equal to a constant k, then 20 log 10 of the absolute value of k will just be some number. And so the Bode plot is just a constant as a function of omega. So it's 20 log 10 of k as a function of omega. So here I've sketched it as if k is um, greater than 1. So it's above 0 dB. This is the 0 dB line, and 20 log 10 of k is a straight line somewhere above that. <clears throat> Another one that we want to look at here is um, the system function h of s is equal to s. Okay. And so the frequency response magnitude is just 20 log 10 of the absolute value of j omega. Um, so it's 20 log 10 of omega. And what that is is a line um, that constantly goes, that goes up at a rate of 20 dB per decade. And it does that forever. It does that from the smallest value of omega, which would be somewhere off the charts over here, uh, all the way up to the largest value of omega. And the slope is just always 20 dB per decade. And we see that it passes through 0 dB right at omega is equal to 1. And that's because 20 log 10 of 1 is equal to 0. Okay, so that's how we find where it intersects kind of the y-axis at 0. Um, so if we look down to another simple term that we often encounter, it's h of s is 1 over s plus a. And what this says is that we have a pole, or sorry, a 0 at minus a. Uh, if we solve this, we see that's a, a term that has a 0 at minus a. And so if we take 20 log 10 of 1 plus j omega over a, um, what we get is this straight line plot. It will be at 0 dB up until we hit a, and then it goes up at 20 dB per decade. So it's 0 dB flat until we hit a, and then goes up at 20 dB per decade. And the pole, a similar single pole term, which is just basically this term turned over, so it's 1 over 1 plus s over b, so I've, I've said that the pole is now at minus b. Um, well, the minus, or 20 log 10 of this term is the equivalent to minus 20 log 10 of 1 plus j omega over b, and that's um, that will look like something that starts off at 0 dB and is flat all the way up until we hit B, and then we go down at minus 20 dB per decade. So these are four uh, common terms that we, um, that we encounter um, if we factor out our H of S, and um, so we can use these component terms to come up with a, a Bode plot for a more complicated system. So let's see an example. So the example that we want to explore here is um, we want to look at um, this example here where we have h of s is equal to 10s, that's an s up here, 10s over s plus 1,000. So first we have to factor this into, get it sort of into the right form so that 
um, the terms look like the terms I just showed on the previous page. So to do that, we'll pull a 10 out here, and it'll be 10 times s on top, and we'll pull a 1,000 out of the denominator. We get 1,000 times 1 plus s over 1,000. So we could multiply that all back together, and we would um, get the same thing that we had over here. But this gets us in a simpler form for doing actually the Bode plot. Um, so first of all, we can see that we're going to have a constant term out here. And that constant term, if we combine the 10 over 1,000, that constant term will be something like 1 over 100. So that's k, our constant k is equal to 1 over 100, because that's 10 over 1,000. So 20 log 10 of 1 over 100 is simply minus 40 dB. So that term, I'm going to sketch that one in blue, um, because we're going to then add these together. So that term is just minus 40 dB everywhere. Okay, so this blue term here is 20 log 10 of 1 over 100. Okay. Then we have another term, which is s. That term we had already sketched on the previous page, so we can just sketch that. And we said that if we have the Bode plot of a term that looks like s, then that will be a line with a positive slope of 20 dB per decade, and it runs through 0 dB, so it runs through 0 dB right at omega is equal to 1. So let me sketch that line. So it's going to cross the the axis here, the 0 dB axis, at 1, and it's going to be a slope of plus 20 dB per decade. So we're going over here. Um, we're just going up at plus 20 dB per decade for this term, and it continues, right? It'll be off, off the charts here, but it continues all the way here, and it continues way down over here but I'm not going to worry too much about drawing that. Okay, um, so now we're going to, um, we have one more term left to draw, and that term is 1 over 1 plus s over 1,000. So that means the pole is at minus 1,000, and so we will get a term that is flat up until 1,000, and then rolls off at minus 20 dB per decade. And so it'll be at 0 dB. Whoops. Got to get my pen here. It'll be at 0 dB along here up until I get to 1,000, and then it's going to roll off at 20 dB per decade. So it'll. I'm just drawing a couple lines so that I can find my way here. So this is going down at minus 20 dB per decade. Okay, so we get these three are the individual components of this overall expression here. And remember, we're taking 20 log 10 of the whole frequency response. Well, if I have a bunch of components multiplied together and divided, um, all we're going to do is add and subtract the individual terms. So we're going to sum up this curve with this curve with the green curve um, to get our overall response. And so let me pick a slightly different pen color here um, to do this summation with. And, oops, and get that. And let me make it a slightly thicker line so we can see what we're doing. Okay, so we're going to add this line to this line first, right? In here, the green line is zero, so we just have to worry about adding this to this. Well, adding a constant, minus 40 dB, um, to this line here just shifts this line down by 40 dB. So let's um, do that. So we're going to shift it down by 40 dB, which means that instead of intersecting um, the axis at zero dB, we're going to intersect at... Um, minus 40 dB. So we're just having a curve down here that um, goes down or goes up at um, 20 dB um, per decade. 
Okay, so we're going up like this, and we're going to go up, and we're going to go up. We're going to keep going up until we hit a thousand. And at a thousand, now we're adding together with a term down here that is going down at minus 20 dB per decade. So we have something going up at minus 20, at plus 20 dB per decade and something going down at minus 20 dB per decade. And so that just flattens it out. So the resulting Bode plot is simply um, this purple curve here where we go up at 20 dB per decade up until 1,000 and then we flatten out. And we flatten out at a level of 20 dB. Um, so let me just write this slope is plus 20 dB per decade. And so how did we get this? We got this simply by adding the three lines, the blue line to the green line, to the red line to the green line. And the overall summation was this curve here. I should point out this continues off the graph. It's just going at plus 20 dB per decade um, forever. Okay, and then it flattens out and it just continues on off the graph over here, staying at uh, a flat value of 20 dB. So that's how we get um, the Bode plot for this particular expression. Now let's uh, consider a slightly different example. So in this example, uh, we want to um, look at uh, this expression here. G of s now is 10 times s plus 10 over s plus 1,000. So again, I'll get this in the right form for doing the plotting. So I'm going to have 10 times 10 because I'm going to factor a 10 out. Um, 1 plus s over 10 over um, 1,000 times 1 plus s over 1,000. So now all of these terms are in kind of the standard form, right? And if I multiply these back through, I get the original expression I started off with. But now it makes it easier for plotting. So I know how to plot this constant term. The constant term, in this case, is 10 times 10 over 1,000. So that's going to be 1 over 10. Um, so let me just, right, so the constant term here is just going to end up being 1 over 10 if we divide that out. Um, so 20 log 10 of 1 over 10 is just minus 20 dB. Um, so let me sketch that line first. Um, so I'll do that in blue. So that's minus 20 dB. So that will be this line here. This is 20 log 10 of 1 tenth, which is our constant factor. And then let's see what um, the top term is here. We have um, 1 plus s over 10, and that suggests that we have a 0 at minus 10. Um, so we're going to have a term that's flat at 0 dB up until we hit 10, and then we're going to go up at 20 dB per decade. So let's get a plot of that. So we go here, and then right at 10, we shift and we slope upwards at 20 dB per decade. I'm just marking a couple lines on the plot here so that I'm going up at 20 dB per decade. So this is plus 20 dB per decade. Okay, and now we just have one more term to look at, and it's this term here. Well, we sketched that one in the previous plot. It's the 1 plus s over 1,000. So that was the green curve we got in the previous plot. So I could just sketch that again. It's at 0 dB up until we hit 1,000. And then we go down at 20 dB per decade. So we're going down at minus 20 dB per decade. Okay, so again, all we do to get the overall curve is we add all these curves together. So that means if we do that, we're going to start off at minus 20 dB, just adding this. And then at 10, we're going to go up by 20 dB per decade. So we're going to go up like this. And then at 1,000, we're going to level off, because at 1,000 now, 
we will be adding a line going up at 20 dB per decade to a line going down at minus 20 dB per decade, and that flattens out the curve. So we have a different curve for this one. We're flat up until omega is equal to 10, then we go up at 20 dB per decade, and then we flatten out again at omega equal 1,000. So part of the reason I wanted to do this example is it illustrates the difference between a zero at, say, minus 10. Okay, this one had a zero at minus 10. And this previous one has a zero at zero. So the zero at zero means it's going to be going up at 20 dB per decade from the very smallest frequency that we show on our plot. Okay, so it's just always going up at 20 dB per decade. Whereas a zero at minus 10 says we're flat initially, and then we start going up at 20 dB per decade only when we hit 10. Okay, so those are different, different curves. All right, so now you've seen two examples of obtaining a Bode, plot, Bode magnitude plot uh, from a particular uh, system function, and hopefully um, they give you some good ideas for how to expand this out to do slightly more complicated system functions. It's just a matter of adding these straight line approximations together. So this concludes our video on Bode magnitude plots. I hope you've enjoyed it and found it useful. If you want more information on the ECE 220 course um, that this video was prepared for, you can check out these websites. Thanks for watching.